Welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. It is a baking hot July day. Everybody around the lake is. Nothing's cooking, nothing's happening. I feel it's time to wind those boily baits in and go on the surface and see if I can find a carp on top. Give you a few tips that you might just pick off that extra one or two fish in a tough summer session. Man, we don't get many of these days, do we? Simple, it's a rod, a reel, soft action carp rod, bait runner reel, don't need the bait runner, it's my carp reel, so it's got 18 pound line, might be 20 on there, it's black though, that I think might be in my favour, bait, probably bread, and I've got some dog biscuits, that's it, if it gets really tough, and the wind gets up, and I've got to try and cast a little bit farther out, because I don't know whether I'm going to even see any fish, I'll put a float on, but I'll show you that way as well. Now I've been throwing some bread in just down there, so you, you probably won't see it. There is a coot in there, he's not bothering me, he's not taking the bread. But they're right in the rushes there, I can actually see the stems not around. So I'm going to try with this heavy line see if I can't get a piece of crust in there. Guys, look at the carp. Just look what I spotted on the surface. I'm hoping I can hold the camera still enough. Who can tell us what that is? Here we go. A hunting pike. Very unusual seeing a pike. He's gone. And there comes a freight train of a carp. Where is he? Got him, light colour one, cruising. Very, very hot now. I need to get some bread out there pronto. Tell our guys the pipes come back up again. Just going to try and lay it in the gap. A lot of this stuff is dead, so I'm going to be able to pull out of that. That is right, right. You guys might not be see it right down in there. But it looks like it's a jungle, but in fact, a lot of this stuff is loose and snapped off. So if I get a hook up, there's an outside chance that I can get him right out. All right, guys, I've uh, targeted a few potential customers here. When I walk back to the car, they're just laying on the edges of these rushes. Yeah. And there's a few cruisers on the top there. So I'm travelling like I've got my mat, got my net, some bread, some dog biscuits. There was one real big fish in here. Ah, oh, he's over there. I don't know if you guys are going to see him. He's moved. Don't see any in here. That's a big fish over there. Just move along here. Oh, there's one. You're looking for colour coloration. Just a slightly different colour. So what I'm going to do is just try one piece of bread first. Just a single piece of crust rather than scatter a load in there. And a it, you know, it might attract the ducks. I get the brown crust here. I haven't got my proper uncut, but just go through it once, twice. There we go. Can't cast this one very far. Oh, look at those fish out there. Holy smoly. I'm not going to be able to reach them. Um... 
No, I put him down when I dragged out. I can see him. And there's one just laying right in there, too. Another one behind it. I need a crust pad, is what I need. That's a heavier one. Let's flick this off. The edge is okay, but the best bit is obviously an uncut loaf or the two ends, which are what I call proper crust. It's a bit dry. Just a sort of close range one, this. Yeah, I probably won't get out there. Let's try it. Pretty right his nose and he went down. Treated it with disdain. Unlike Mr. Duck out here, who's probably got his eye on it. There's some more carp at the back there. I'm going to try and tease this one off and get my bread back. If possible, he's gone now. Let's come off. Carp over there by the rushes. One in the open. You might might be able to see that one. I kind of figure they're not going to take today. But you never know. Oh, good cast. They turn the other way. How exciting. Big one at the back. Oh, the bed's going to come off. Oh, holy smoly all over it. That was a... Got one, got one. Got him on, guys. Got him on, got him on. Good fish. Good fish sucked it back like it was a last smarty from the kids' counter. <laughs> Floater fishing. You've got to love it, guys. You've got to love it. It's my favourite way of catching carp. Blue sky. Everybody else is going to sleep. No. Oh, double figure fish, boys. Double figure fish here. Here we go. That was sweet, one of those other fish. Joking apart, was a very, very big double. Or could be, even have been close to the magic 20. Here he comes. Oh, he dives the wrong way. Boys, wait till you, wait till you see this one. I do love floater fishing. Oh my god. One hook, nothing else. Nothing on there. There folks, we have a very surprised carp who was basking in the sunshine. Fish about, what do you think guys, 12 pounds? Yeah, I thought you might be doing that. See if I can pick you up carefully. Give the folks, how's that for a nice double figure carp? Just look down there, people. One, two, three, four, five. Five in a row.
fish guys, it's a big fish. I'm gonna keep the pressure on the side straight. Big fish. Oh man. Ain't got much to chase say for a while. Well, there's a result, people. Oh, no, I've got... I reckon that's a, near close to 20. I'm looking at rabies just shy. Just shy of the magic 20. That is an animal that might even be 20, I don't know. Certainly 18 pounds. What a cracker jack fish. And just look at the width across here at the back. That's all it was, guys. Piece of bread. Blazing hot summer day. What a beauty. <laughs> That's what I call totally awesome fishing. Take advantage of a hot sunny day with a slice of bread. Beautiful. I reckon he's just shy of 20. What do you guys think? He's real close. Boys, what a result, get in. Whew. That's a really nice fish. I'm hoping you got it on camera. And look at me, I'm still looking. You, you've got to keep looking and looking. Long peak pack cap, polarizing glasses. Shut the glare down. Got a black uh, polo shirt, which is not good in the hot weather. They just push a limit. Make yourself work at it. And by the way, I've already done a 12 hour night session. So this is an addition to what I've been filming last night. Don't see any in here. Don't think you're going to catch loads out of one swim. It's a, normally it's just a one swim deal. So we're looking for individual fish. There's one. There's one. I don't know if you guys can see that rubbish over there. There, I saw the stem knock. Bait up, get out, and I haven't scattered any loose samples in. I just put a single piece of crust in their face. Whew. Getting the shakes, guys. That big one took. What else is going to take? Damp it just once. Now, this is a tricky position. Can't see where he is, front or back. Right in there, so tease it back there. Perfect. I know this carp here because I can see the stems move. Now here's a likely looking spot, which is rushes on the edge, a little bit of shade, and there is indeed somebody at home. Don't know whether you're going to see this one. I think the bread oh, has fallen off. I'm absolutely drippy. Look at this. It's like the Mediterranean. Look at the stems bumping, guys. This place is full of carp. It's just a dead giveaway at most angles don't to actually see the stems knocking. One dip of the crust. And just... Oh, look at this one. Like a ghosty. He's, he's a little bit deeper than my bed. Why am I whispering he can't hear me? Okay, I don't trust him. There's another one on the outside there. And there's two, three fish laying in there. That looks like a ground scarf. No, I'm not happy with that one. That's a nice fish, that light one. It's going to get all spooky. Just ease it in as an A spooked. He spooked. Okay. Bring it in quietly. Can you see these down here, guys? Let's go just gently between the two. Here he comes. Oh, looking good to me. 
Get over that bad boy, boy. And bingo, got vegetation with me as well. Oh, maximum pressure. See my bite indicated down the blank. Piece of green twig. Shouldn't have used that drag quite so much. Why did I stay up all night when the fishing is like this in the middle of the day? Guys, I'm going to take a gamble and say this is another good double figure fish. Looks like a common. Fish, come on, fish, just get away from those snags. Yeah, nice big common. <laughs> Happy days. Back wine, net. Guys down there, he's toast, he's toast. Guys, in for me, a near 20 and two other big doubles and as close as you could want. This is as good as I could expect it to get. Man, I ain't alive. What a little session this has proved. And more important, what a loaf of bread. This one's a bit different, people. I think there's a fish down there. I can't honestly confirm it, but for this reason, it's slightly deeper. I don't think it's coming up for the crust, so I'm just taking the middle of the bread. And hopefully it's like slow sinking flake, and just watch either a forward fish movement, dip it once, or the line to tweak. I just have a feeling it's a fish shell. Just hanging in front of his nose, I think. It might be a bloody shadow for all I know. No, I can't see. Worth a shot though, so slow sinking flake. Just like that, it just goes down nice and slow and you watch the line tweak. Ah, oh, guys, I've had a cup of tea. One final walk around. And one of our friends has come back into the spot. He is in fact a little bit deep. He's just down in between those two twigs. I think he's gonna to be too deep. Now listen, at least you've seen three really good fish off the top on a day when it appears hardly anybody's catching anything on the bottom. Just sitting around, chilling. Let's black with fish over there. I can't get to him. I might try around the other side. Well, got this big fish just laying in there. Now this, I'm going to have to lower it down to him. If he takes it, a bit hard, the bread. I can get it, let's check that drag. Always check drags. Mm, this is falling in the water job, if ever there was. Now uh, appears he's got spooked. It was worth a shot. You see him bumping the stems. Mm, just hang on for a second. Oh, there's another one there. 
another one up in there. Let's see if I can tease this out without the bread come on, coming off. Yeah, the bread's come off. Great. It happens. And it's on his nose. Absolutely on his nose. And he has treated it with disdain. Was worth hanging on for a second though, guys, definitely. Black with fish around here, guys. Try with a big piece of bread. One zero and in. Gone underneath. Do I move it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> getting close, boys. Getting close. Getting close. Getting close. The guy's gone under it. I mean, they can drive you wild in this weather. Trouble you can see them as well. That's a big fish over the back. Going on, boys. Going on. Now, how long do we stay attached is another thing. Well, this one's giving me a good scrap, guys. Looks like a ghosty, or is it a big fish? Big common. Wow. This is a big fish. Hopefully, the memory card lasts out. This might be the end of it if I get him in. No, not quite ready. Not quite ready. I have a feeling this side was uh, going to have a fish on it. Come on. Oh, God. One more roll. It's getting close. It's still going, guys. That is a lump there. Wowie. Look at this one, people. That's a big carp, isn't it? For middle of the day on bread. Hopefully, you can see that one. I guess it's going to go. He's gonna go 15s. 
15s, 18s, something like that. I'll tell you what, he's heavy enough for me. Probably could go nuts and break the microphone, but I can't even hold it properly, guys. Probably 16s or something like that. Cracker jack fish. This must be the best behaved common carp I've had for a while. And he talks as well. Brilliant. Guys, had the proverbial last cast, and I've got yet another lump of a fish. Look at this one. Holy cow. I can't be far off 20. I thought it was a small one. That's only 16s. I'm not sure it's not even bigger than the last one. That is a balloon. I bet that's not far off. 18 to 20 pounds. Good God, what a session. <laughs> 40p loaf of bread, and I haven't used one tenth of it. Whack it, dude. That's a nice fish. In the middle of the heat of the day. <laughs>